Welcome to World Box. Where are we? Well, since you were at the title, you would already know. You already read, read the title, so I don't need to tell you. So that's right. I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, well, we're in Atlantis. Orcs, elves, doors, deer, cows. We got them all. All right. They're all gonna start off in their own respective corners, and then you know, get off, explore life, get to know each other, warfare, the whole thing, the whole thing. They had a pretty cool base set up. I like this map a lot. I think, uh, you know, let's make sure everyone has some starting stone. I think that's important. Stone doesn't even go away, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, I already do. You? Uh, not close enough. Or you? Eh, you got a little bit. I'll give you some more. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got you. We got you here. So, uh, yeah, they all have their own corners, and then we'll slowly get to the middle here across this bridge. And they'll get to the middle of Atlantis, where there's a ton of wolves, apparently. And uh, that's about it, you know. They'll have their land, and they'll come to the center, and we'll see what happens. We'll see how they advance, how they regress. We are now 1,600 years into the, the finding of Atlantis. They've attempted to colonize their respective areas. So, elves are doing alright. They're doing okay. Doing okay. Humans, you know, they kind of colonize all their area. They're already expanding towards the middle. But on them, there's some ruins of a past civilization. Uh, so, yeah, look at access to the dwarves. I think they just don't have enough access to wood. Because they're kind of being... Just kind of... They only got one city, and it's got 30. All right. The orcs... I mean, you know the orcs, baby. They're popping off. I mean, look at them. They got the entirety of their starving area colonized already. And... Oh, I mean, just look at it. Well, that's a masterpiece. Next, you know, next coming next though, they uh, they got to colonize towards the middle. First person to reach that gold is gonna have some advantage of producing population and spreading outwards. I guess these guys have like one piece of gold. Gold doesn't, you know, it's all infinite now, but it just means they get to it slower. So we'll kind of see what they do. We'll kind of see what goes on. I'm interested. We actually haven't had any revolutions yet. No revolutions. Um. Yeah, that's surprising. I guess they're getting all the food they want. Dwarves, I think they need some help. So uh, let's get them some help. I give you some wood. Chop it and make some new stuff. Yeah, so let's give them some forest area right here. Sorry to your roads, dude. My bad. Uh, but it's ultimately for the better for you. You just try to build a house right on top of... Oh, okay. Let's give them some more wood. Make sure they have access. We can actually start building stuff outwards. Maybe they just want to ch orcs. What are they doing here? Are they, I think they're going on a trading, trying to trade. It's a long journey. Are they just scouting the entire area? That's weird. I guess they're just exploring, probably. But yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. They need to get to the ironworks over here. Hopefully the doors will start to... Look, I mean, they're just not doing it. <laughs> Poke them with the stick. Do something. Come on. Uh, okay. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. Maybe we'll let you know when First Revolution had some warfare. Some... And we're back. We're back, baby. As you can see, they've all been expanding outwards. They getting to war here? Yeah, we got some humans and elves going to war here. Now, let's see. Oh, they're mobilizing the army. I did not even know this war was going on. I was just trying to update you. But here we are. They're pushing back the elves. But here the elves come as well. They're going to fight on this bridge. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. I, there's so many... The humans have a massive force, though. I think they have more than the elves. The elves have a slight advantage kind of holding the, the, like the, the, the bottleneck here. Oh, okay. There, there's the rest of the elves. There's some more human forces. I... Uh, I think the elves are gonna win this. They have so many arch. Oh, oh no! They're just pouring out. There are so many humans. This is like a wave defense versus the human horde. Okay, that dude. Look at the amount of archers there are. That's insane. They're just shredding through all the humans. Yeah, I think since the humans are kind of coming one by one, they're kind of going to get owned here. Unless they can just brute force their way through numbers. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's weird. 
Oh, well, that's going on. A little pushback. If we get it. The orcs are the first to hit the center. I get that gold, baby. That's pretty big for them. They rapidly expanded towards the center. Do I have, like... Oops. Do I have, like, revolution off or something? Oh, that explains it. That definitely explains it. And, oh, okay, well... There it goes. There it goes. There's all the revolutions. We'll probably put them down pretty fast. Actually, the humans, all their... They have some, but a lot of their troops are up here, same for the elves. So, the revolutions are kind of going to get kickstarted a little bit. I was wondering why they weren't having revolutions. Well, that's awkward. The elves are actually going to get split up here. Wow, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. The doors have finally made it to the third tier <laughs> of their base. <laughs> they have yet to... <laughs> They're so far behind, it's insane. Uh, well, uh... With the revolutions, though, it's going to really punish these guys. Who, the orcs are expanding quickly. Uh, the humans, uh, certainly, I mean, when your empire is so big, you know, it can only have so many villages in it. So, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. There's some pretty interesting things going on here, so... Oh, okay, well, come to stamp out the revolution, but now it's going to say, like, uh, the orcs are they're having a little bit of trouble, but they're generally actually keeping it under control surprising um but you know they got cut off from their gold for a while from that and they'll probably keep kind of keep having the same thing kind of happen and i mean cause these yellow guys i'm sure it's gonna keep causing revolutions the humans they have their own kind of independent kingdom happening right now i don't know if they're at war currently no they are i heard a firework go off so i wasn't sure oh yeah it was these guys these orange this orange faction they kind of made peace with the uh, original. So I guess some of their demands were met. Everyone was just fine to keep living life. Yeah, the humans, they keep expanding into this elves territory. The elves are kind of cut off a little bit. But the orcs, man, alive. They are just taking over. I mean, I'm surprised they aren't just kind of falling into revolutions. That seems to be what happens. The elves definitely are. I mean, look at that. They have so many factions white you know the light green but the doors are chugging along apparently they've had a little revolution here i mean they don't have like any i don't know how i don't know how then the, there's these guys here and one guy started a revolution i looked at the king he just had a wooden stick of power i think that's what caused them to have a revolution Doesn't look at oh this guy is a mortal that's cool this, this Yellow Kingdom guy is immortal. I guess until he dies through warfare. He's getting attacked right now. What does he have? The Battle Axe of Power. Dude, it seems like all the kings have super cool weapons. Let's take a look at... Oh, where is he at? Inside this building? I'm not sure we can get him. Oh, he's... Oh, did he die? He must have died. Where are you? There you are. I think that's the king. Yeah, the death axe. Oh, that's sick. He likes tea. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Pearl, not Pearl Harbor. Holy crap, why did the Boston Tea Party? I was like, uh, there's going to be a revolution. They just chucked tea into the ocean. I don't know where Pearl Harbor came into my brain there. Yeah, they're, I think they're going to put a stamp to this purple revolution. I like that the elves found some peace. You can coexist with some other kingdoms. You don't have to fight, you know? Just chill. We're already seeing the orcs push really heavy. And they keep, you know, they keep having revolution from light orange here. It's pretty interesting. The humans have expanded quite far. But they aren't. They're having a lot of trouble with the revolution. The orcs are quite far. And they're having a little bit of trouble. But nothing they can't put a stop to. Definitely. And they want to put a stop to it soon. Since it... They got, wait, what? The elves somehow got in the middle. Yeah, that's good on them. They got access to some gold. The question is, can I get it back, you know, to their base? Uh, to the mainland. This is prime real estate. I'm sure someone's going to try and take them out. Are these guys at war? Yeah. I guess the main force was up here. Yeah, you can see, like, the banners and stuff, which is really cool. You can see kind of the, where their forces are at. Are these guys? They're still at war. See the battle here. Battle for the dwarves. 
battle for control of the entire empire. Squad leader by himself, standing his ground. How tragic. And uh, humans and orcs coming in here. Uh, what are they doing? I have no clue. I think everyone just likes to trade in here. I don't know if that's them trading or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah, the elves, they're just fully split up. But they're all peaceful kind of with each other. You know, they're not really battling, I don't think. That's pretty cool. It's kind of cool to see like, multiple kingdoms spring up, but they're all coexisting with each other. Yeah, they keep having trouble with these purple. And that's what you get when, you, you know, when you're a tyrant, right? You just keep squashing down the revolution. It just keeps coming back up. It's going to keep coming back up to that, you know, you eventually lose, so. Yeah, holy crap, this thing is fully colonized up. I mean, every square inch is getting taken up now. Oh, they actually had a... There's some improvements happening. The orcs are going to war with some certain elves. I don't know which elves they're going to war with. Uh, but they're probably... I think they're gearing up for war. And they're starting to bring all their forces up here. I have to deal with some revolutions, but... Oh, they, they sent some... That's what they were trying to look. They're trying to look for a sneaky place to colonize. They know the doors can't fight back. Uh, I wonder what happened here. You know, the doors are pretty weak. So if, same with the humans. I guess they went over here and colonized a little bit. <laughs> dude, the doors are just getting bullied, dude. I feel bad. I, whoa. It's like their capital got rioted. That's pretty crazy. So it moved over here, I believe. Wait, no. Oh, the, the blue... The blue guys have totally been just kind of wiped out. I guess they finally lost a little bit of power. Now they're kind of forced out into the center area in Atlantis. Oh, look at these royal elves. But uh, the Ors, uh, I think they just keep trying to go to war, but they have to fall back due to the revolution. What are these guys doing? They, they seem like they're up to no good. Why is there a random elf army here? Are they at war with the other dwarves? No, looks like they're just chilling. They just like to chill with the dwarves, I guess. They're taking back the city here. Take back the city soon. But we finally see them kind of kicked out of power and we got these, uh, look, is this black? It's like a dark, dark blue, can't really tell. I mean, it's like a little bit of both maybe. <laughs> so I, I, I wanna see what happens. I keep saying that, but we'll see what happens though. I wanna, at some point, I might just force them to go to war. Sometimes they just don't like to, you know, go to war for some reason. Each other. I wanna see some major takeovers, that's what I wanna see. Maybe we'll play around a bit too. It'd be shame if, you know, someone would have a natural disaster happen. That'd be such a shame. No, so I think we found out why, uh, why Atlantis was lost, you know? the ages I think we found out why it was lost to the sea because there's a crabzilla there but it doesn't like people very much he doesn't like people invading his uh, Atlantis very much looks like the people of Atlantis left a little surprise for everyone else came trying to came, come looking I guess because uh, he's gonna wipe them out let me tell you you know I think we're I think he just wants to defend them though you know? At least his like home. This is his home, you know, it's his home. These people are invading his home. We can go ahead and just cut off this pathway here. We can no longer just walk over here. You know, they're they're actually chilling. Leave them alone. But get out of here. You're not allowed in here. Stop. I don't know why like two kings were here. I don't know what they were doing. So let's, you know, we're gonna cut it. We're gonna cut this off. Crabzilla doesn't like people. I'm gonna make sure no one can bother him ever again. I'm sorry. Goodbye to that port. I think we, uh, I think we accomplished our mission. Get everyone out of the middle. Cut it off. You're not allowed to swim over here. What are you thinking? Goodbye. Crabzilla is happy, except for you. What are you doing here? Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. Now that's. Um, we. See, I see you. 
And that's why you don't mess with Atlantis. You know something I didn't think we'd see? Uh, turns out, you know, Krabzilla, I mean, we made the land here. We can come back here because Krabzilla did his thing. He kind of kicked them out and he wanted, you know, he wanted them out. But now that they're kind of still coming back, I think, I think it's time for Ranta, R Atlantis, Atlantis to get reclaimed. I think it's time for the ocean to start to take back its prize again. You know what I'm saying? But as the sea slowly reclaims what it once lost. We all knew Atlantis couldn't last forever, right? We all knew it. I mean, why did it come back anyway? Who knows? The water comes back and it's the edges, at least the edges, you know? Just for now. They better they better start moving towards the middle. Because it is uh it's slowly gonna it's slowly but surely gonna start moving towards there. We could already see a lot of real estate was cut off. There's a ton of orcs stranded right here. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. There you go. I got you. Don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. And let's let's keep going. Let's keep going here. It'd be a shame if Atlantis was slowly losing land, you know. Just look at it. Oh, we're catching so many people here. Oh, they just got back on land. Oh no. All villages are being destroyed. We're slowly moving towards the middle. Keep on moving, baby. Keep on moving. I want to see who kind of lasts. I want to see who's there at the end. Who's there at the end. This is water erosion, baby. Should have known this was coming. Should have prepared for it. The entire city is now in the ocean. Yeah, they are really losing a lot of land here. Some of the mighty nations that once were do not exist anymore. Look at all these guys. Oh, I was just trying to debate. I shouldn't be like, oh, look at them, look at them, look at them. And I was gonna, but they I actually incinerated them all. Whoops. That's fine. You know, they would have died anyway. I mean, you know, I just ended them peacefully before they drowned. That's the way I'm gonna look at it. Look at this reclamation of land. Oh, it's beautiful. Come back. Come back to us, Atlantis. Come back to as you once were, back to the depths of the ocean. It's so beautiful, actually. It's so beautiful. It's like a work of art. I don't know what else to say. It just brings a tear to my eye. A teardrop. See Atlantis go to his former glory of underwater. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Look. Oh yeah. How deep will we go? We're gonna, we're gonna take out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Take out all of this. Goodbye. We're gone. And uh, all these guys are in the ocean now. They're gonna have to, we're gonna see giant population booms as they all slowly, I think we'll give everyone a help, right? Let's give everyone a little bit of help. They seem to be struggling here to get back to land. Where's the mag? Regroup them all. Boop, 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 boop. There you are, pick you up, and then toss you in the middle here. Boom. We're just gonna toss them right in the middle. Give him a little bit of help. There's a couple of orcs in there. You know, whatever. A lot of humans were left out to dry. Go. Go push it back in the middle here. Some kings were entirely destroyed, but their kings are still alive, I believe. Oh, no. They, they actually has a actually have a kingdom over here, so... Oh, I can't single them out. <laughs> They're, they've all been forced. Look at how many people are in one spot. They've all been forced. 
600 population. They've all been forced into one spot. Oh no, 800 people. <laughs> it's just what Crabzilla wanted. Oh, it's just what he wanted. Oh, it, this is just what he wanted. A ton of grouped people. Oh yeah, it's time. It's time for Krebsler to take what back, take back what's his. Say goodbye. Oh. Dude, look at everyone just fly into the ocean here. Holy crap. There's so many people grouped up here. I'm just going back and forth. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Yes. Take back what's yours, Krebsula. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, this 800. Oh, look at that number go down. There's so many dead bodies. I think we've wiped out most of the major civilizations. Just got a few small ones left. Uh, they might be able to kill me before I get it. I don't, I should probably not. It's, they're all just kind of choked into one spot. I mean, just look at them. We'll have a few remnants here and there, but really it's just gonna, they're not really gonna exist anymore. What can I say? Humanity always seems to find a way, but Absolute is determined to find his own way of exterminating their way of finding a way. That makes any sense. Oh, sorry. And still a few people left. Yeah, they made their own. But uh, it's. Try to have hope. But, you know, their hope is just slowly lost. Atlantis is reaching to back into the sea. That's all that remains. That little fire pit right there and those three people. They just watched as the world was thrust into darkness. Sorry. You cease to exist now. Sole little piece of land. Tragic, isn't it? Get them. They're all killing each other. It's awkward. Get them. Reclaim back to nature. Oh, oh, cool. They're all just chilling. Wait, did the elves not get attacked by um wildlife? They may not. Yeah, I actually don't think they do. She's starving to death. Oh, she planted a crop. It's the last remaining survivor. What's your name? Oh, that's Big Sam, the bear. Aruna. Oh no, her skin is burned. Wait, did she just die? Where are you? Sushi. I feel bad. There you guys. Have some blood rain. I'm sure that feels great, right? Oh. Uh, I can't let them live like this. I just can't, so. Time to end it. Bye. Bye. Oh. There goes Atlantis. It's back to where it came from. Let me know if you guys enjoyed or whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, soon, probably. I'll probably do... If, there, if you guys didn't know, I did a stream yesterday. But I'll probably do one tonight, too. So, see you then if you're there. If not, you know, 
much love. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Have a nice morning, evening, night. Peace.